Good morning, everybody. This morning, we're gonna pull the tail planter up, make sure everything's up to snuff. We've kind of looked it over already, but uh, just wanna go through, check all the gearboxes, which, wait. This one doesn't have gearboxes. That's the old planter. I don't know what I'm thinking. Anyways, we're gonna grease it, check all the tires, and I just look over everything, make sure I didn't miss anything. Ah, fire right up. So I already put the controller in, the camera in for, well, I got two cameras on the back. Uh, now I just need to pull the wiring back here that got coiled up on the step, get it hooked up. Someone tells me I had it on the other side. Now I can hook everything up. And these cables we gotta take and run up to the battery. Go up there. Just a little bit. Got my hot wired in before I go and zip tie everything in. Better go double check, make sure it's actually gonna work. Yeah, buddy. There we go. Success. All right, now I can put it back together and get everything zip tied up so no wires flopping around. So I've got a slight problem. Try to hook up my power connections here on this power strip. So you got positive, positive, negative, and then this is supposed to be switched. And my switch circuit is not working. That is supposed to turn on and off with the key. I'm gonna have to see if it's fused somewhere. I don't know, gotta do a little troubleshooting, but I can't get anything to work. I like to have it on that so that nothing accidentally gets left on. When you turn the key off, it turns off. Uh, can't have anything running overnight and draining the batteries, but well, I don't know if this is the problem or not But I've got one relay that the cover is gone for And it's probably not good and I think that might be the same circuit this piece right here on top was off I pulled it over and then uh, yeah, I arc something so Come on. There we go. Yeah. If you guys have ever wondered what's inside a relay, here, here you go. I mean, I don't know if it's actually bad or if we just broke the cover off of it. It's supposed to have a little cover like this on it. Stole this one out of the AC circuit that's right next to it. I don't need AC right now. I'm just gonna test it out and throw this in there. All right. Yeah, let's see if that works. And that didn't fix it. All right, hopefully now I've found the problem. Got a burnt fuse. It's burnt off, you can see in there, it's burnt off when I checked with the ohmmeter. No connection. Okay, now I think I got it fixed. Put a new fuse in there. Yeah, power. Now, see the camera's on. Turn this off. And the camera turns off. Yeah. Turn back on. There we go. Well, I took a fuse and <laughs> I went and stole the relay out of the other tractor to put in here. I don't have a spare. I'm gonna have to go get one. Everything's beeping at me. I keep turning it on and off. So, yeah, at least got that problem taken care of. Good morning, everybody. It is time. I'm getting hooked up. I'm gonna take the three-point generator out. Uh, Philip is already hooked up to the fertilizer trailer. I'm gonna take that out. Seed is supposed to be here for the potato planter today. 
We're finally getting some stuff done. Getting put some seed in the ground. Whew, it's chilly this morning. And it's gonna be chilly tonight. Let's head out. I'll be back for you. Yeah, yeah. Fire up a little red. We already had a little red out here. This is what we've been using to pick rock. We're just gonna look Nice guy and already grabbed the seat piler. Check the tires real quick. Grab my grease gun and get it greased. There was one greaser I forgot on it. I gotta go get it. I don't know if I can do this one handed. Oh. Mine doesn't even fit. <laughs> I'm really tired. Okay, well, I can't do this one handed, so I gotta put you guys down. Sorry. Will you forgive me? Thank you, you're so kind. Phil's fit, so got greased. Uh, Daniel's gonna loop the chain on it, and then uh, check, I think we gotta check tires, and we should be good to go on it. I already looked over everything else on it. Gotta have some chain lube. Lube and chain. They're just a implement tire. They're not a height. Hmm, that should work. Let it soak in. She's pretty still. Look at that. Beautiful red. Let's see. I need. <laughs> I don't want poor me. Let's see. Need uh, this hose. Yeah. Whew, come on. Wrong hose. What I need has a blue handle. Not yellow. All right, here we go. Here we go. There we go. Now we're cleaning up. Flush that garbage out. Plug in. All right. Let's let's do this. We don't need a whole lot. We just want to get enough that we can run through the system and flush out the nozzles. So that yeah, should be good enough. Let's let's try this. Here we go. Nothing's happening. Oh, there we go. Yeah. All right, let's go check. Scotty, we don't have any pressure. We got flow though. I don't know if you can see the red balls floating up. Pump looks good. Apparently, nothing's frozen and broke. Whew, I'm gonna fall. You guys would enjoy that, wouldn't you? All right, we got water out of the hoses. Let's go put some nozzles on. Put a diaphragm in here. Not a diaphragm, it's a check valve, but. Makes it so it doesn't leak. Pressure opens it. When there's no pressure, it closes. Makes it so your nozzles don't drain. Put this in here. Oh, come on, that didn't feel like it locked. Why aren't you locking? What am I doing wrong here? There we go. All right, nozzles are on. Let's pull some water, make sure it works. All right, here we go. Pump on. Ooh, getting pressure. Look at it, it's almost right where I need it. About 22, 21, it's kind of bouncing around. And I need 23. Well, I guess it depends on how fast I can plant. We have to see what the seed looks like, but. Pressure looks good. Not must not have broken anything over the winter freezing. We tried to do a good job blowing it out and keeping all the valves open, make sure everything can drain. See the pattern. Good. Good, good. Good and good. We're all good, Scotty. Okay, well. All nozzles are good, system looks good, I don't see leaks anywhere. All looks good. Let's throw in another good there it's because I've said it so many times, why not? We don't want the water, so go uh, go drain the rest off. Now we just need to take that out, take this out, baby. 
and this i mean this goes with this so they're kind of hooked they're connected they have a good connection out there. let's drain the water uh so that it doesn't change our mixtures and take some more equipment out we ran the piler out there seat still hasn't shown up no truck so i guess we'll take the planter out while we're waiting that way as soon as the seed shows up ready to plan i guess i mean <sighs> haven't heard when they're coming yet i hate waiting up sesame there we go let's roll out let's let's blow this popsicle stand to get out to the field when you can only go what 16-2 I mean I guess I can let's kick it up 16-4 oh, we're hauling now we don't run any faster than that we had a problem when we first got this tractor uh, driving too fast and the rubber on the bogey wheels would come off uh, we've had to replace multiple bogey wheels because of this so now just to make sure temps stay down and things don't get so hot we just drive a little slower and take a little longer is what it is. I don't know if it's just me, but I'm paranoid about driving this thing in the field too much on up on those two wheels. Because when we transport this down the road, so that these outside wheels don't sit and swivel back and forth and tear up the tires, because that's what wears them down. We lift them up and we only travel on those two, but. Ah. I just don't like driving them through the field like that. I won't break anything. I mean, there's no potatoes in it. It's not that he it's not that heavy. But why risk it? My theory. Yeah. Now she's well supported. Got all four wheels. Just got a phone call with bad news. The truck that's bringing our seed, well, a truck went down. I don't know if it's the truck is bringing my seed or not, but it went down, and so they're having a trucking problem, and my seed's not going to show up until late this evening. So, yeah, we're not going to be planting today. <sighs> it is what it is. I mean, nothing I can do about it. No, that was the right direction. I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah, because that's tightened. Yeah, you're right. Daniel, I'm really tired. Oh, I'm on run today, apparently. So I'm sorry. Don't mind my beeper. What a nice guy I am. <laughs> 